joining us online, those that are watching us from their home, we want to welcome you, we want to welcome you, we want to thank the Lord for bringing you here. I didn't ask you to sit, but you want to sit, you can. we're going to pray. We're going to pray, we're going to seek the Lord and say, Father, open up the heavens today in our lives. Would you begin to pray as loud as you can? Thank you, Jesus. Zena Mazandaya, Zena Mayandada, Zena Mambrote, Tedetaya, Zena Mazandaya, Zena Mazenta, you have been so, so good to me, Aramase, Dabarabase, Ebala Mazantaya, Zena Mayataya, push kind to me and you have been so so are you sure are you are you very very sure experiencing the kindness kindness of god if you're experiencing from me tell him you have been so so good to me you have been so so good before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. Tell him as loud as you can, you have been so, so kind to me. You have been so, so kind to me. When I was your foe, when I was your foe still your love fought for me. As loud as you can, you have been so, so good to me. You have been so, so good to me. Never ending, friendless love of God. Oh, oh what you meant to me. Now I'm fighting, I'm still unfound. Leaves the 99. I couldn't earn it. I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. Still you give yourself still away. Overwhelming. Oh, overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Father, we thank you for that grace. We thank you for locating us. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. The next 30 seconds, give him the best shout of praise. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Tell him. Yep. That without it, without it, I'm not living. Your presence. Your presence is the air I breathe, the song I sing, the love I. Without, without it, without it, I'm not leaving. Your presence is, oh, your every. presence is all I need. Oh, it's all I want. Oh, it's all I seek. And without it, take your seats. Take your seats. Without it, there's no meaning. Your presence. Oh, song I sing, the love I need, and without it, without it, I'm not leaving. Everyone, one more, one more time. Your presence is 
Sure you're singing. Sing it a little louder. Come on. Ah. The air I breathe, That's right. The song I sing. The love I need and without it. Without it. Without it, I'm not leaving. Your presence is. Focus your attention on Jesus. that you have loved me so much. What am I, Lord, that you have loved us so much? What are we? That you are so mindful of us. Have you thought of that? The Lord is so mindful. Even when we are not mindful of him, the Lord has been so mindful of us. Yan yendulu Yeshu para Itreyere Yenes nehipan Yan yendulu Yeshu para Enjoy his presence. We are not in a rush today. We're not in a rush today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know one thing that uh, can happen to us in our Christian journey is that we can walk with God to the point where we get used to his nearness. We get used to even his that which once we excite us doesn't excite us as much because we can we become familiar to that there is that one presence of god that always shocks us that 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 always creates an excitement in our spirit but the problem with that is you linger there human nature is made in such a way that we have a way of getting accustomed to that and it is only when we lose something we realize what we have lost 
So we have to pray, Lord, don't allow us to become accustomed to your presence. Give us grace that there is an excitement every time we are in your presence. Give us a grace to celebrate. Give us a grace to run after you. Give us a grace. Uh, talk to me. If that excitement is in your spirit, clap your hands for Amen. Jesus. Somebody tell him, we love you, we'll never stop, can't live without you, Jesus. Tell him, we love you, are you sure? Yes. Can't live. All this is for you, Jesus. So come and consume. God, all we are, we give you permission. Our hearts are yours. We want you. We want you. Come and consume. So come and consume, God, all we are. We give you permission. Our hearts are yours. We want you. We want you. We want you. Our hearts are yours, we want you, oh, we want you, we love you, yes. and we love you, we'll never stop, and we'll never stop, can't live, can't live without you, Jesus, Jesus, we love you. Say that line one more time with all your heart. Let Jesus hear you. We love you. We'll never stop. And we'll never stop. Can't live without. Can't live without you. Jesus. Jesus. A little louder, please. Enjoy that, enjoy that, enjoy that. Enjoy that. Get your focus back to the Lord. You're getting back now. Zoom. We thank God for 
what he's doing see people from different parts of the world if you can put your location on your name we'd uh, appreciate that uh, you have germany in the room bangalore in the room mumbai in the room delhi is in the room uae is in the room malaysia is in the room nagpur france pi ah we thank god we thank god come on let us give them a warm warm welcome thank you it's always a joy for me to see all of you uh, watching us from different parts of the world we appreciate you we just want you to know that you are much loved you are much loved eh soon i pray that uh, one of these days you will visit us and uh, see the join the service in person let's give them a big god bless you thank you Our God is faithful. Jesus. Amen. And the Lord is faithful to feed you according to your need. Amen. Yes, today the Lord has a very precise tailor made for word for everyone that are joining us. I think we are also on YouTube if I'm right. So share, 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 let somebody know, invite somebody to join. Let them know that we are live in case they didn't make it. and uh those that are on youtube if you would like to be present on a zoom go to revivenations.tv sign up and we'll send you the link and you should be able to join us there as well thank you where where are we let me just quickly give you update on our our construction we haven't opened up the the pulpit of the platform yet we are waiting for the day of the dedication and after that we will start using that full blown okay until then we'll just adjust in this little space and uh, i can't wait for you to to enjoy this in full capacity uh, we've ordered a whole lot of things we were still um, holding on hanging on to the our previous sound but uh, if ordered for all the new stuff it's on the way uh, they keep telling me about some shipment and there's no ship and there's no water and stuff like that so <laughs> so please pray for the ship to have water to <laughs> apparently it's a new thing i don't know why they don't just take the plane but uh, so we need it to come soon Okay. Would you pray for that? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes we need um, we yesterday they had people come and not as a few days ago somebody came and measured all the place so we we are cutting stones to bring it in. So it's going to be beautiful. Amen. Uh I think one more coat of paint is uh is, I don't know exactly but some paint is left touch ups are left for inside the sanctuary. This week we will have new carpets. So, so we where the place is going to be shining. Okay. Uh we're, we're still working on some of the projects below and some of the rooms are happening simultaneously. So take time to pray for that. Very interestingly the Lord said that that April is going to be the month of building. That's right. And yeah. it's a month of creativity. uh even even our contractor he all of a sudden had a some other job that came he really tried his best to uh, accommodate uh, and and move things and i was realizing that even though it felt like unplanned he was able to start the work on april 1st which was the date god gave us Come prophetically on. Come on. so i was thinking wow he, he doesn't even know about a calendar right but he was on calendar that's right yeah so pray for him as well very very uh, good team we have uh, so i think it will go fast okay so continue praying by the way pastor steve and pastor 
Sean has been coming down. Thank you for hosting them, Pastor. And they've been just coming down um, almost every other day and finishing and helping us with many things. So we appreciate the Montreal Church for doing their part. So there are many, many things that you see on the surface level and there are many things that you don't see. Everything, every amount that you gave, we are printing it. I want to have a, a plaque with all that information and also I want to put that information um, and make it part of the platform, okay? So that all the blessings that flow from here, um, and I'm so blown away. I was looking at the numbers of your giving and I was so blown away and I'm going to continue praying that the grace will locate you and keep lifting you. Thank you for your generous, generous giving. Thank you for your generous giving. So even today, when the Lord moves you, be quick. You can go on revivenations.org slash give and uh, continue to give to the work of the Lord. Okay? Can I hear an amen? Amen. amen. All right. Are you ready to eat yes. bread? Yes. Okay. We thank God for the one month blessings that God gave us. Woo! Did you enjoy the one month? Yes. Of yes. 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 I was. Uh, under tremendous pressure from all of you to continue into the month of April, I almost felt like I'd be stoned or something if I don't continue. So I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, they, these people are causing trouble for me. Please, can you send manna directly to them? <laughs> so, so I don't know if you opened the door and checked for it. bread is here for this morning. Amen. Okay. So I've been praying that God will use me again for you this morning. Uh, if you pray, God will make me say things that I have not even prepared. God will make me say things that you are asking. The number of times I've had people tell me, uh, I had a few questions, I, I was really wanting an answer, but the Lord already answered that while you are ministering. Somebody else, a young man was telling me that I was asking the question and as I was asking, you were answering it. And then I would ask the next question and you would answer it. That's the kind of mechanism uh, that we have. <laughs> it, is a, it is a spiritual mechanism where you talk to the Lord and I lean on the Holy Spirit and uh, He speaks, you speak, it can go back and forth. And you will see that you will have answer for everything that you need right. because we don't follow religion. We follow a relationship. That's right. Amen. And our Jesus is alive and well. Amen. And he honors those who honor him. So when you sit here in his presence, you are telling him, I'm not here for my mother. I'm not here for my father. I'm not here because of my religion. I'm here because I honor Jesus. Amen. There is nobody that honors Jesus that is left without honor. He is a very correct God. When you honor him, he honors you. Beyond your imagination, he is about to lift you up. 30 seconds, clap your hands and praise him. Even at home, you can practice that. Even at home, celebrate. 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 family. Thank you. I want you to open your Bibles to the series that we've been doing on giants. Amen. Giants. 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 Okay. Have you been enjoying oh, yes. studying yes. about yes. David and Goliath? Yes. We haven't gotten to there yet, but probably today. Uh, may I go till when did we reach we, we, okay. 
we finished 18 okay let's start with verse 19 and see where the lord is leading us today and uh, are you ready to eat manna yes are you ready to eat the bread of angels yes you're quiet you're ready yes. to eat the bread of angels yes, yes. all right let's go thank you prophet first samuel first samuel chapter 17 if he can if he can help his mic it'll be useful yeah first samuel chapter 17 is that working can you verse 19 okay first samuel chapter 17 verse 19 uh-huh. now saul and they and all the men of israel one more time now saul and they and all the men of israel uh-huh. were in the valley of ella mm. fighting with the philistines uh-huh. and david rose up early in the morning uh-huh. and left the sheep with the keeper and took and went as Jesse had commanded him and he came to the trench as the host was going forth to the fight and shouted for the battle mm. verse 21 for Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array mm. army against army and David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage and ran into the army and came and saluted his brethren and as he talked with them behold there came up the champion the Philistine of Gath Goliath by name out of the armies of the Philistines and spake according to the same words and David heard them verse 24 and all the men of Israel when they saw the man fled from him and were sore afraid and the men of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that has come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches mm. and will give him his daughter and make his father's house free in Israel. Mm. Verse 26. And David spake to the man that stood by him, saying, What shall be done? To the man that killeth this Philistine. He heard it, but he's still asking again. Okay. <laughs> and taketh away the reproach from Israel. Uh-huh. For who is this uncircumcised Philistine uh-huh. that he should defy the armies of the living God? Wow, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting into battle today. Uh-huh. Come on. Ah, that was an amazing testimony we heard before. Yes. <laughs> Come on. So you can tell that the enemy is attacking people, especially the ones that are very closely working with me. Ah, we see it. We see how the enemy wants to do it. Sometimes when he cannot get to me, he would like to get to people that are close to me. Uh, Because the enemy knows that if I can get to weaken his heart, something happens to me I may not be as hurt as something that happens to someone that I love so the enemy has a way of attacking people that uh, we love so that he can weaken a heart and once the heart is weak the kingdom can be taken but not today Satan we thank God for the two angels that were sent to hold that car and we thank God for such a protection I don't know if you remember I told you that that also means that when you know there is an attack that also means that you go extra careful okay there are things that always happen outside your control but do what you need to do to be careful and don't don't be in a playful mood when you go out The Bible says, kiss the son that you may not perish along the way. The book of Psalms. Kiss the son so that you do not perish along the way. So that means that when before you drive, while you're driving, all be in communion with Jesus. Uh, she, She said about how she called on the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, call on the name of the Lord and 
you shall be saved so stay in communion that is your protection amen stay in communion and that is your protection so we thank god for yes. for the protection okay yes continue praying continue praying you can, when you sense that we are in war you have to increase your prayer yeah. you're a little bit silent for me but it's okay <laughs> Yes. I have to keep reminding myself I'm in auto work. <laughs> But that will change so okay. Yes. yes. We're going to hit oil soon. Hey. Yeah. Uh, that was not a motivational statement. That is a prophetic one. Amen. So we, we yeah. Phone be low. This month we build. Amen. Yes. Ah, uh, may is coming. Yes. is coming so this month get get your work pants on and we finish the work amen okay all right so what is the scripture saying i i uh, we did three parts already passe so far yes. this is the fourth uh, part it's available on the app yes yes okay okay it's available on the shaiju matthew app and uh, go and make sure that you've heard all the three parts I don't know about you it has blessed me. Oh so so last week was riot. Uh, so some acceleration is happening as word is coming to us. I want you to understand a certain discipline, certain detail of David. When you see God raising up somebody, it is not only because the spoken tongues okay uh, it's not because they prayed loud i'm going to make an outrageous statement you're used to that by now there are people that that pray a lot that god would prefer not using okay yeah there are people that have prayed a lot god will allow them to witness God's goodness and the goodness probably does not come through them. Yeah, there are people that in the times of Jesus they prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and they got to see the Messiah but was not part of his ministry. They only got to see it but not experience it. So we have to be careful <laughs> that we are not among the that group that are so religiously praying and we have ticked all the marks of okay i i have done what everybody does but yet not part of a movement what is required uh, what is required for to serve the lord is not probably what we'll see and say now you're qualified to be sent by him Okay I see you don't like it already oh, okay. Okay. There's a third dimension there's a third part there's a third angle that there are some that are sent but it does not necess- necessarily mean they are trusted by him Okay that doesn't mean that they have access to the treasure that doesn't mean that for example you see when jesus died none of the disciples were trusted to take care of his body 12 apostles he said no 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 for this one you're not qualified for this one i need a businessman hmm. yeah somebody that won't be stingy with spending money somebody that will go to a tomb and say no 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 for to lay this body down we cannot have a tomb that was already used i need a new tomb that's right a tomb that has never been laid before hey huh? so he looked at all the pastors that he around around him and said now nah, these fellows are a little stingy they're going to borrow 
somebody's two Christians. Is it an exploits? They were not necessarily uh, yeah. <laughs> that is why you see John the beloved in the Bible where Jesus looks at him and he says, okay, I take care of my there are other people to take care of the churches. There are people that I can trust to take care of ministries. There are people that I can send for mighty revival. But those are not the same guys that I will trust with with the laying of my body. Those are not the people that I can trust with my mother. For that I need somebody else that are not driven by ambition. It's a different nature. The nature to protect the nature to cover the nature to hide the na- their goal their goal their goal is to protect protect the vessel keep the vessel clean so that the vessel is not devalued their job they are the keepers they are the keepers they are the keepers huh they are the keepers they are the ones the ones who go in conquer but there's another group it says you okay so three levels three levels of position one more time number one those that just stay near him i don't want you to do anything i enjoy you being near me okay there is no need for you to do anything you just stand before me i want you to what stand before me day and night night and day let incense arise day and night night and day i important too all the three are important not one is lesser than the other the seraphims the bible says they stand before the lord day and night saying holy holy ho-. they are important Huh? they are not the ones standing beside the lord they are not the ones going ahead of the lord they are the ones that their only job first is to stand before him and just say holy 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 the earth cries out holy the heaven cries out holy their job they bring pleasure to the lord with their presence anna in the bible anyone remember anna in yes. the bible yes. Yes. in the in the gospel of luke there's a woman named anna her job was for decades decades she was in the house of god doing what ah just just praying just praying and fasting praying and fasting anna praying and fasting anna will never be seen in the team of jesus ha huh? you will never see her in the ministry team did you find it go ahead thank you prophet i have a luke chapter 2 verse 36 uh-huh. and there was one anna a prophetess the daughter of phnuel of the tribe of asher she was of great age and had lived with an husband 7 years from her virginity and she was a widow of about 4 score and 4 years which departed not from the temple but served god with fastings and prayers night and day served god with fastings and prayers night and day so there is one such service okay that is a service by itself and how did she serve the lord by prayer and fasting ah uh-huh. night and day night and day night and day her thing is this is my service this is my ministry my ministry is to be found standing this is a very important role people are destroyed because they didn't find a man to stand in the gap nations are destroyed because God couldn't find somebody to stand 
in the gap. That's what the Bible says in Isaiah. I looked for a man. I couldn't, Ezekiel, I couldn't find anyone to stand in the gap. I couldn't find because I wanted to destroy the city and I was looking to see if there is anybody that can change my mind. I couldn't find somebody. So sometimes when you see people, the enemy attacking somebody, it's because the enemy knows this individual is standing in the gap for you. Hmm? Are you learning something? Today? Yes. When you see the enemy wanting to attack your mother, it's because the enemy knows there's nobody who can pray like a mother who cries for her, for her child. Huh? Intercessors, why are the enemy attacking intercessors? Because the enemy knows this one, this one is bothering me. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do that. She, she just woke up. Who asked her to wake up? Right. I was on the way to destroy something, but she woke up and started saying, Shukara bara bara. Right. Huh? Suddenly she stops working in the middle of cooking and she says in the, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. And suddenly the enemy that was trying to Attack now the enemy is derailed. That's right. <laughs> and the devil is like, what happened? What happened? I, I uh, oh, they're all on their walkie-talkies. <laughs> calling each other. I, I told you to follow the blueprint. I told you to follow the plan. Can't you guys execute one plan? No, sir. We were on the way to execute it. But suddenly our tires burst. <laughs> Because a mama somewhere said, in the name of... Victory in the blood of Jesus. And she went right back to tasting salt. And she didn't have a clue of what happened. But just a, a, a sense, a wave just came upon her. And she just stomped her feet. And the devil was put into chaos. That's her business. Ah, do you understand why the enemy will cause children to hate their parents? Do you understand why the enemy will cause their children children to hate their parents? So that the enemy, in order for you to receive a blessing, you need the element called honor. So if you have enough mind attack against somebody that is supposed to bless you, the blessing won't land you. So if you can have enough irritation towards your parent that is supposed to bless you, now the prayer doesn't work for you. The covering don't work for you. Because you've already shot holes in the one that is supposed to cover you in the first place. Are you following what I'm saying? So the irritation that you have against your parents, can you look for a second and say, wait a minute, these are the ones that stand in the gap. I know they're irritating. Uh, you're all too, 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 too much a saint. Too much. They're, 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 they're irritating sometimes. Uh, agree with me. Yes. <laughs> but nobody wishes you well more than them. So take time to honor them. Huh? This week, take time to? Honor. Yes, take time to love them. Take time to love them. Because that is working on your favor. That is working. Somebody that is standing in your gap. Find somebody that is standing in your gap and appreciate them today. Amen. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I should have been died long ago. I should have been buried long ago. But here you are still standing. Somebody clap hands for Jesus. So again, three, three, three things that I shared. One, that are the ones that stand before the Lord. They are the ones, their duty is to just stand. Like a mama dear. Tell her, I just I don't want you to do anything in the church. Don't carry anything. I just want to see your face. Yeah. 
yeah. Hey, you I like your glasses. It's cool. Uh, mama got style. Uh, find someone that you can love like that. Are you following what I'm saying? They they are they don't need to do anything. They don't need to. I tell Pastor, I say Pastor, please don't carry anything. Just I'll be around me. I want you around me. I want you around me. Just just be around me. Don't I banned all the people told them don't make him carry anything. There are people like that that they they bless you with their presence when some people bless you with their absence <laughs> There are people that will become oxygen around you oxygen you can they come ah, already the burden is gone already your your tension is gone down some people they come they increase your tension Have you gone to the hospital lately <laughs> Stop This one I was reading a newspaper news from 1997 I have no plague stop it Are you listening to what I'm saying Yes you have to change that part of you You have to ask is am I increasing the blood pressure of someone or am I an oxygen in the room yeah. That's so good That's so good <laughs> uh, We thank God for people who can do that their jury stand they stand just by their standing you have the motivation to stand <laughs> you are standing because you know there is somebody that is standing on your behalf now you have the grace to stand not because you want to stand it's because there is another strength that's right ah it's the first group that that stand before the lord the second group that is sent out that is what sent out. sent out they are sent out they are sent hey we need those people ha huh? we need those bulldozers them we need them we, there are some assignments i tell some sons this one you sent this one because you know he will not care for anybody else <laughs> <laughs> you send somebody else they'll probably <laughs> I'll, I'll be nice huh? they'll sell half your property to somebody else that was not even for theirs to give but there are some people they know who they are they don't care about people's opinion That's right. they know who goes before me they know who stands behind That's me right, nothing else matters That's to right. them they are the ones that will go and do exploits huh? i'm telling you a father is a failure without having such arrows in his quiver a success of a father is not of how important he is how great he is it is if he has sons that succeed him huh one more time a father's success is not his own success but is his success is in if he has successors that succeed him ah you 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 missed it a father's success is not in his success but is if he has a successor that succeeds him when i leave is there still a man standing in my place then you are still the last man standing as long as there is people that you raise that can stand you are never fallen this is where the enemy will pitch their own father against the son and the son against the father because the enemy is always looking at trying to remove the qualification to be legitimate in the realms of the spirit wow. i dropped a bomb oh, yeah, yeah. that was a bomb you missed it 
I say woman, the qualification to be legitimate in the spirit is when the spirit sees you, he doesn't see you. He sees who sends you. That is why when demons started attacking the sons of Sceva, the demon was not saying, I don't know who you are because the demons knew they are sons of Sceva. But what the demons were saying is, Paul I know. Jesus I know. But I don't see both of them backing you. I don't see that you are part of the Paul team. I don't see you are part of Jesus team. I don't know who you are. You, you are independent floaters. You are not rooted anywhere. There is no backing. I don't see anyone in the realms of the spirit sending you out. That is why Apostle Paul says, I and Jesus are there in the spirit with you. It's in your Bible. Huh? It's not just Jesus. He was saying that I am there with you in the spirit along with Jesus. <laughs> Spirits of perfected men. Saints. Ah, I think we, we, we're going too far now. Let me, let me take it easy. There is a grace. There is a grace that sends you that you see this David, he knows that. When he gets there, he's, he's on a fuel. You see that? Because he knows, Papa sent me. Papa is upset with these guys. Papa sent me. <laughs> he knows. He knows somewhere inside he knows. I'm not going to be stopped now because I'm sent. I'm sent. Marondo Brocosia. Ah, somebody is being sent this morning. In this. It's very difficult to achieve uh, the process of being sent is very difficult. What did I say? It's extremely difficult to be sent. If it was easy, <sighs> Jesus being Jesus, the son of the living God, he only got 11 of them. Missed one. Huh? To send. And not all 11 were successful the way we think. Some of them we don't even hear about them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They're gone. We don't know what these guys did. Can you have so many sons and then not produce result? Not everyone produced result. You have many children but not the ones that produce result can say, give me this mountain. I can say, give me this mountain. I, I, I'll show you what we can do. Because I want to show that the grace that is on my life works. I want to show the teachings that I've heard works. That you can send me to a location and you will see fruit. <laughs> if we send you to a location, Will this grace that you've been sitting under, can you bring fruit back home? Can you bring fruit back home? Talk to me. You see that on David's life. All right. So the ones who stand before, the ones who are sent, and what is the third one? The one that are the keepers. The keepers, the keepers, the keepers. The ones that keep the body of Jesus. The ones that can be trusted to keep that which is precious to Jesus. Jesus trusted John to keep his mother safe. The keepers. <sighs> keepers. Keepers are missing in the body of Christ. Huh? You'll see that with Many, many places where there are people that are sent, the people that are stand, but very few people that can be trusted to be keepers. David was a keeper. If you notice, when Papa sent him on an assignment, you don't see David just leaving everything. And going. You don't see what? Yeah. First thing he did is he said, 
I have some sheep. I can't desert my sheep. I have to take care of the sheep because the sheep belongs to papa. The assignment also is papa. The number of times people say, oh, but you told me to do this. Yeah. And I also told you to do that. So when I told you to do this, did not mean for you to... Huh? It's like telling somebody, climb the ladder. And so you drop the baby and you climb the ladder. <laughs> Look at a neighbor and say, don't drop the baby. Don't be so driven that you drop things that God has given in your hands. Don't be so driven that God drops, God, you drop things that God gave into your hands. Yeah. Yes. Take time to make sure that you find space to be a good keeper. Keeper. Don't drop it. Keep it. You, 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 you're not shouting amen like the way you would have shouted the check is coming to your post box. You guys would have all shouted amen. The devil is a liar. Amen. Be a keeper. <laughs> don't drop things. <laughs> you're acting like this one. I don't know. This one is for my neighbor. Receive it. My husband receive it. It's for you. Me, me, I'm going to drop things and I'll let my husband pick it up. Can God trust you to be multiple faceted? Multifaceted. Because this is the God you serve. Huh? I was helping a businessman. I said, there's a problem you have. The problem you have is that you are a one trick pony. What? Yeah. Yeah. You need a father. You need a father. They will say, I'm sending you on that, but that doesn't mean that you give up on this. I need you to do both. And the way to do both is not by cloning yourself. Huh? But the way to do it is finding people that can learn from you. Right. And now you trust them with that. That is probably a way of cloning too. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm talking about the lab cloning, you know, yes. where you wish that there's somebody just like you. No, 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 no. You raise up people better than you. One of the most profound statements that I heard my father, senior prophet Emmanuel Makandiva. Ah, if you're clapping, you do it right. One time. He said something so powerful. He said, the father is not a standard for you to follow. When he said that, I was like, I don't know, maybe he, he got the grammar wrong or something. Because I, I, I've always thought the father was the standard to follow. So I was like, oh, he, did, I, did I, maybe I didn't hear properly. And then he said the next statement that blew my mind off. He said, the father is a standard for you to surpass. When he said that, I said, now that's a real father talking. <laughs> dictators, dictators will be like, all of you be like me. But a father is saying, no, 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 be better than me. Do better, go greater, go greater, go greater. Go ho, rabban, toro, bro. Child of God, you should do greater. Amen. Uh, but it's also the fact that before you can do greater, you'll have to at least learn to imitate what your father is doing. Amen. It's true. Uh, it's true. Before you can try and do greater. At least grow to your father and then you can grow beyond it. Amen. Uh, and David is coming and saying, I have to take care of the sheep, but I have an assignment. So he gets there. When he gets there, now the anointing starts acting up. <laughs> it's an art not to be hijacked by the anointing. Because your anointing has a speed.
speed of his own anointing as a moment because as soon as he gets there boom 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 he 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 now starts talking to people that he shouldn't have talked in the first place he's like da, 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 da. he starts he starts going but it's no more him is the anointing that that is drawing his steps right. and he's probably going to get into trouble for it but now his anointing is activated but before that can happen he did something again something unique he had a carriage that had all the provisions inside that carriage that he was pushing and dragging for his brothers he takes the carriage and gives it into the hands of the keeper <laughs> we don't read these details eh we just want to straight go to david and goliath some of you are like okay when do we get to the goliath part <laughs> he gets there to the battlefield and even at that point he needs to locate a keeper when you get to the battlefield it is then you need a keeper more than any other time many people when they arrive in their destiny they don't want anybody anymore i've arrived now i don't oh look at me i have arrived no you didn't need a keeper before but now you need him more than any other time because there are things that papa gave you it's now you need to protect it more than ever before ah malasika you will be loved even if you lose it but your victory is dependent your favor is dependent your provision is dependent on the way you take care of that which was given in your hands we miss this part you need again i quote my father he said you don't need me when you are down is only when you're up you need me more than any other time when you're down fallen hey you you you're humble successful that's right yeah. that's right when you feel like oh look at me i'm very anointed now when you feel like now you can prophesy huh when you feel like now doors are opening that's when you see people slowly start saying oh uh, now i don't need him i've seen this over and over again huh <laughs> there are people that when you when they really need oh pastor prophet major mina whatever when they are blessed hey hi how are you bro okay already i've seen you the way you used to honor is changed because you feel that now you've arrived you're not as desperate as before already pride has entered your heart those are the moments when god starts moving away because you're so confident that you've arrived the place now you can handle on your own i was not important before i was not significant before i was in the forest now my father has pulled me out my, now my father has given bread in my hands now i carry a gift now i have been elevated now i have been repositioned before i was in a place where nobody saw me now i'm in a place where everybody sees me i've been elevated i've brought to the forefront where is your keeper now do you still keep in touch with your keeper or have you lost that desire to be accountable <sighs> david is like no 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 brother i need you now huh? please hold this for me because assignments don't last forever Okay, we got to close. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I don't understand your quietness. I'm interpreting it as they are tired. <sighs> You're processing. Assignments don't last forever. But most people, they focus so much on the mission. 
their goal becomes the mission their identity becomes the mission take that mission from them they are nothing you tell them oh from today i don't need you to do this hey their identity collapses so i want you to quickly look and say if if my mission is taken away from me will my identity stand i'm helping somebody <laughs> if my mission is taken from me will my identity stand will i still feel loved or do you all of a sudden you'll say oh because my father took me out of this mission he hates me god doesn't love me <laughs> huh? yeah find your keeper don't let the mission blind you turn to your neighbor help me preach because they're really trying to hide from me right now <laughs> I think I'm doing a good job. Yes, yes. It's like like last week we were going against the enemy everybody was shouting today we're going into the heart surgery. Yeah. And yes. a spin drop silence so I'm yeah. wondering. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it's it's not to hurt you. Uh, yeah, but it's it's helping you. Thank you Jesus. Thank recognize you. the trap of the enemy. That's right. Because divisions happen in the church. The enemy steals people of their identity. because they make them feel important because of a mission if i give you a responsibility don't let the responsibility define you the problem is with our parenting huh because we rewarded good behavior and we punished bad behaviors we rewarded good behavior but we didn't reward the individual I won't bless my kid because he he was a good boy. I bless him because he's my boy. Uh, yesterday I got something for my son and my my, my son is like I, I, is it my birthday? It's 10 days from now it's his birthday. So he's looking at me and saying but is this my birthday gift? I said my son don't worry. When the birthday comes Your father is blessed enough to bless you again Amen. in 10 days. But I don't need an event to bless you. I bless you because you're my boy. That's right. So what happens when you grew up in a family where you did something and something was taken away from you and something was given away based on a behavior model. So now you come to the presence of God. and the moment god says i'm taking your assignment away i wanted you to go to west but now i would like you to go to the east and suddenly you feel god hates me because your identity was formed from your childhood based on rewards based on behavior so that means that in order to get the reward you did things that you didn't want to how much time you did things that you didn't want to you did things that you didn't believe in so now we taught it to be fake so you didn't really stop because you honored the red light you stopped because there was there was a cop <laughs> somebody saying it's 100% true so there's a part of an identity we bring up in our children that were fear based so the moment ah uh, i know i'm tearing everything apart with this kind of thing but but it's better now yes, that yes yes uh, yes uh, 20 years from now it's going to hurt bad the older you you get it's harder to bring to birth so it's better you get corrected now yes. than you try to travel in 10 years from now and it's going to hurt 10 years from now is better it is corrected right now 
talk to me. Amen. The joy of trusting the Lord. The joy of saying, Lord, give me the grace to trust the keeper. Give me the grace to trust the keeper. Give me the tr- grace. Remember it better ever see. So he's in the mission, but he's still connected with the keeper. Yes, yes, yes. I can I have the grace to fall back to the keeper. The grace to stay connected, the grace to stay accountable, the grace to say I have to still be accountable with what was in my hands. I'm I'm not having a free reign now. Something happens. He starts hearing things that excites the oil. Can you sense oh my lord? Ah, we are praying close now. No, 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 no. I'm going to watch you now. The moment I see the first one yawning, we close and pray, okay? Okay. Can you measure? Can you measure what God is doing? Can you measure? Can you sense an excitement in you and say this excitement is not me, it's the oil getting excited for exploits. Amen. Yes. What if I tell you we are we are getting ready for exploits in Amen. this nation? Do you sense that excitement in your spirit or has the enemy quenched you with lies about your identity? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. The enemy can make you so sad. You can be attacked by your husband, you can attacked by your children, you can be attacked in your office, you can be attacked here, there in your own church. Now you're so demoralized that now you can't tell that your oil is ready but you're not look at your neighbor and ask them the oil is ready but are you ready the oil is what the oil is ready but are you ready the oil is ready but are you ready the oil is ready but are you ready and he begins to hear things that others are not hearing what others were hearing was the challenge of goliath what david was hearing was not the goliath hey if you see the moment they heard and saw goliath the bible says they fell backward they lost space they lost momentum they lost ground the bible says they Oh men of Israel when they saw the man fled from him What you see and hear can cause you to lose real estate Talk to me child of God What you see and hear what you allow your eyes and your ears to see and hear can make you lose spiritual locations in the spirit realm <laughs> Locations can be lost grace can be lost momentum can be lost places that god brought you authority that god gave you anointing that god gave you presence that you were having now you can go 10 steps back simply because you are confounded by something that you should have never so if you look at david everybody is like ah falling backward david ignores the guy he goes and says hey bro let's say that one more time You said something like this some like a reward or something right can can you repeat what you, I heard you talk to can you say that again and everyone they can't think clearly their brain has shut down because there is a sensory sensory overload of the lie that is standing before the the giant that is saying so they can't think clearly but david can think very clearly he said i just want a confirmation of what i heard <laughs> Did, did you say there is a reward? <laughs> Somebody is about to get to a reward. Huh? So when many people can see a challenge, David could see a reward. Huh? When many people could see a challenge, <laughs> David could see a reward. Oh, Brenda Lara say when many people could only see a problem david could see a reward is like hey 
this is this is the ultimate reward i'm getting money i'm getting a wife i'm getting a prom- oh right boys hey. tell of god i'm go- do i say it yes you know i'm not trying to hurt you right i'm i'm, I'm bringing clarity to yes. your mind yes. this is trouble now i'm starting a big trouble in here are you ready yes don't do any battles for free <laughs> don't do any ba- some of you bite fighting for your cousin your uncle your neighbor's dog the goldfish of it's not even in your house <laughs> huh because you don't have an identity come on come you don't on. value yourself so you don't care if your battle has value so you fight everybody's battle anybody's battle you're non stop if you if the if you look at you in the realms of the spirit you're like with a sword <laughs> blood of jesus blood of jesus you're going around if i give you a broomstick in front instead of the sword you would have been more productive <laughs> not do it David is trained his oil has information he has understanding he's like wait wait hold on hold on i will deal with the goliath but tell me again tell me again he went and asked the second time the brother got angry the brother is like you are here wasting your time you just like to play and I said this is for a cause this is a need he didn't get upset with the brother who is upset one more time he didn't get upset ah uh, the moment you get upset with the brother who gets upset now the father is upset with you huh? is the brother correct to be upset with you but the moment you become upset with the brother who becomes upset now the father has become upset with you favor in fair so you have a greater responsibility what the brother can get away with you can't because it was wasn't the brother that was sent on the assignment it was you that's right okay okay i think you're getting tired eh? did you hear what i said you have a different you have to learn to keep quiet he's your brother he has a right to do it you you keep quiet you keep quiet and the bible says he went to the next guy and said ask the same question <laughs> oh lord what he's doing is he's verifying is this a battle worth getting into verify look at the neighbor and say verify yes investigate is this a battle that is my battle is this a battle worth entering into if i'm entering into a battle i need to know precisely what my reward is some of you don't know what your reward is <laughs> some of you what don't know you you fighting a battle that you don't even know what the reward is define your battle by defining the reward from the battle it takes for you to value yourself to say i'm not doing this for free when people don't value themselves i've seen i've tried to help people work their business there is a nearby vendor that is selling it for 500 dollars find someone who does not value themselves they'll sell the same thing for 50 bucks 
what is the difference between this one and that? that one values their worth this one doesn't know who they are so you'll give everything out for free because you your value comes from them accepting you amen or out you both are welcome amen your value comes from what yeah your value comes from them smiling at you so you're willing to sell off your skill what was given to you by papa was not given to you by free he had to work for it he had to he had many sacrifice to get that oil and now you have it in your hand for free and yet you devalue yourself but not knowing the value of what you have in your hands value yourself spiritual battles tell of course spiritual battles don't enter into spiritual battles without defining what is the end result of this what is my reward i need to know what is my reward sometimes your reward is the lord saying well done you faithful servant the your ability to hear god say well done my faithful servant this is my beloved son in whom i am well placed yeah believe that is self is a reward but my my point is did you know that do you know that this battle will get you that result because not everybody not every battle gets you that favor the moment you start realizing how to weigh your battles now you have a fuel to take goliath down in a way that nobody else can there's a fuel coming to you amen there's a fuel there's a fuel coming. so before getting into battle spiritually take time to study your reward Sometimes you need to ask the Lord, Lord, if I get into this battle, what is my reward? Ask the Lord, what is my goal? If I battle this demon, can I get this mountain? There are spiritual battles that you can win that will add riches to you. Last Tuesday I taught you the foolishness of human beings is when they think that it is humans that give you money foolishness foolishness and people think oh their church gen so generous that they gave him money really i'll show you the same church that didn't give you money but yet there are spiritual battles you win in the spirit that will cause money to come running into your hands right. spiritual battles spiritual what battles yes yes i was talking to somebody yesterday and i asked them i said this project that you're entering i said what have you done spiritually to make sure that you don't lose this project i said i have prayed i said okay okay but that's guess what the enemy is not just praying he's working hard what have you done to fight back how are you making sure that it is not lost from your hands how are you waging war okay we continue next sunday oh, we're going to come back to eat this tuesday you have questions from what i taught you today come prepared okay we'll dig deeper rise up rise up rise up rise up I think what I taught you today is one of the most important profound things that you can keep in your your mind that will take you a long distance in God. God may I be found as a faithful keeper 
of the mysteries of God. May I be found a faithful steward eh, that the, 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 the secrets of God can be given to me and God can trust me with that information. Can God trust you with that information? Can God trust you with that information? Can God trust you? Lord, change me to be a keeper. Change me to be a keeper. Would you begin to pray? Lord, change me to be a keeper of the mighty things. Prophetically, I can tell you, God is about to trust some people with things that they never imagined that they will have to be trusted with. God, can God trust you with things that nobody else in this generation can be trusted with? Talk to me. Can God trust you with things that nobody else has access to? Something is going to happen right now as you begin to pray. Get ready. God is going to trust you with parts of himself. Parts of himself. With secrets, with revelation, with mysteries that has not been given to other people. Can God trust you with it? Can God trust you to be a keeper of mysteries? The keeper. Oh, Shalanda Branta. 30 seconds, lift your voice and begin to pray.